Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be breaking down the Episode 13 trailer titled What's So Funny About Truth, Justice, and the American Way. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I'm not going to play the trailer at the start of the video, which you would have not seen by now. But I'm presuming a lot of you guys have seen it, and if not, go over to the CW's channel and you can find the trailer there. It's just I have a lot of issues with Warner Brothers in terms of me using footage in my videos. They just like to take it down just for fun, which is really annoying. So anyway, we're going to talk about this trailer, break it down, and I'm actually really excited for this episode. So this episode's not airing this week. This episode is going to be airing the week after because the Oscars are on Sunday, which is very exciting for me, so I'm not bothered. Um, but some of you guys may have not known that, so that's an update for you guys in regards to when it's actually going to properly air. So don't expect this week, expect the week, up, the week after, my bad. So, let's break down this trailer. So last episode, actually, I didn't really particularly like Menagerie that much. I thought she was pretty good. But I didn't think she was anything special, and I'm happy that her snake parasite thing is out of her neck. And I think the power is going to be with inside her, as we saw in the post credit scene of last episode, when she got that letter from Manchester Black. So the Elite are a comic book team, and Manchester Black is the leader in the comics, and Menagerie is part of it. So that's what they are forming in this episode. So let's break this trailer down, shot by shot, and go through it all. So, the first shot of the trailer is Kara and Supergirl as they walk through a warehouse, and this is, again, your Power Rangers kind of just superhero walk up, and it's a great shot, it's in slow motion, and I can't wait for this fight scene because it actually looks really good, and I have to compliment the people who cut this trailer because it's a really compelling trailer, unlike a lot of the Supergirl promos normally. Alright, so the next shot, we get to see Manchester Black in the background, and you get to see one of the new members. I'm actually not sure of his name right now, but we'll have to wait and see it until the episode. So you guys, if you do know his name, please be sure to comment it in the comments below, because there's various members of the Elite, and I'm just kind of unsure right now as to who he is. But she's getting flung, that is Supergirl's getting flung across in this warehouse, and we see the guy and Manchester Black as they're there. And so in this episode, there's going to be a breakout, and also, as you can see behind in the next shot, they are stealing jewels. That's what they're doing, and it's a little bit weird that Manchester might be doing that. Maybe he has a problem with them doing that, but Menagerie's obsessed with jewels, as you saw last episode and this episode. You can see she's got, like, sort of, like, a, a crown, and also she has, like, a staff, like a fairy staff, and then she's got jewelry all over her. So she's kind of obsessed with that, and the guy on the right has this really cool sword. It's kind of like a church sword or like a medieval sword that's that's what I was trying to get at. but yeah he's dressed really really nicely he's got his top hat on I think he looks very menacing but also kind of quiet at the same time and Manchester's back and he's out of prison we'll talk about that in a sec as to potentially how he may get out and you see he's got his Great Britain you know body armor on and he's got his nice long straight jacket and he's got some sort of weapon with him and so this is later in the episode, I'm fairly sure. And then we go over to the president's office and you see the president and you see Kara shouting at the president, trying to actually warn him of the elite because she says innocent people will die as she meets with the president. So right now the president doesn't respect Supergirl. The president thinks he, she's like a menace as he fired her from the DEO, so they don't have a very good relationship, so something bad might happen here. Maybe she's going to threaten him or something, but I'm kind of sick of him. Like, that's the whole point, but yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next shot. This is where I think that the breakout scene is going to happen, because you see in this shot, Jean is getting shot at, and if you actually see the trailer, it goes around him. It's like a sort of electric force field. And he's going to be knocked out. And I think in this scene, he is definitely visiting Manchester Black. And I think Manchester has sorted out an escape with this guard in the background. Maybe it looks like the guy who was on the right in the previous shot with Manchester and with Menagerie. So perhaps he's gone in undercover and then he shoots John. And then I believe they break out. And I'm fairly sure it is him because in this next shot, you see in the background the same guy in a prisoner sort of 
uniform, or more more like a guard uniform, sorry. And you see Manchester as he gets his sword out and he's still in prison. And so, yeah, that's definitely when they are breaking out. So look forward to that breakout. I think it's going to be pretty good. Maybe they hold John captive. Maybe that is why we see that John's maybe not teaming up with them as they do that super friend shot near the end. So maybe John is actually kidnapped. That would be very interesting to see. I think it definitely could happen. All right, let's move on to the next shot. And we see Kara again in the president's office as she's kind of just shouting like in need to the president because she's going to do this all by herself. And then we go to a massive shot. And this is really important because I do believe this is in fact Kara as Supergirl because if you look carefully the colors are red and blue and Alex is kind of looking a bit weirdly towards Kara and this is definitely Kara's hair and it seems like this is Kara's apartment so is Supergirl going to confront Alex to get her help which is going to be a bit strange or is she going to reveal her actual identity as Kara to Alex in this episode is Alex going to remember this is very curious because it is Alex's apartment how would Supergirl know that obviously we know that Kara is Supergirl but Alex doesn't know that so I'm really looking forward to that and I believe she's definitely there to get her help and maybe she reveals her identity once more all right so we go on to the next shot and I have to correct myself Jean is actually in this shot but maybe he was taken by Manchester Black and then he was actually broken through by Supergirl, Brainy, and Nia. But yeah, this is the Super Friends shot. Kara says, I have Super Friends, you have the Elite. And then they go into an all out battle. And I love that line. This scene, I am so excited for. So they're inside this base. Perhaps it is like a military base because you can see the American flag behind them. And you see Supergirl as she's standing there with her hands on her hips in the very iconic position. We see Brainy, we see Nia in the background in her new suit. And you see Jean as well. And we cut away to the other shot and you see the Elite. And there's only three members of the Elite. Maybe it grows a bit more towards the end of the season. Or maybe this is the only time we see them. I don't know. But it's kind of cool to see Manchester back. And I think Manchester is actually very good. Although he's not like one of my favourite characters, he's a very, very strong character and he's better than Menagerie from what we saw last episode. Alright, so let's move on to the next shot. And this is just again that same scene, but now you can see Nia as they stand all four together. And there is some sort of vehicle in the background, so maybe this is after their robbery. Maybe they've crashed into here or somewhere. But anyway, moving on. So we cut back and we see Manchester shooting this gun at Supergirl and the other guy shooting a gun one-handed, which is very interesting. And in the next shot, we see Supergirl doing a very, very similar pose and sort of shot to Wonder Woman, which is really interesting. So if you've seen Wonder Woman, you know that when they shoot her with the bullets in the trench, you get to see the sort of crackles of the bullets actually crackle off her shield and this is very similar as she walks forward and I love her shot I think this is amazing and in the background you see Brainiac 5 actually fighting the other guy and I think Nia is fighting Menagerie in this scene so there's a lot to look forward to and you see Alex is actually inside this warehouse as well and I think Alex comes in for the cleanup at the end and so that's why I think that Supergirl has actually gone to get her help like behind the DEO's back so you don't have to tell Haley. and so the last shot of the trailer is of Nia and Brainy as they try and punch that guy but then we get to see his powers he sort of disintegrates and he's this sort of puff of smoke and yeah like I said I don't know who he is but he's a member of the elite perhaps he's from the comics I'm guessing he is but I'm looking forward to this episode so much. So that is about it for this video. So if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter because I tweet about Supergirl all the time. Also, follow me on Instagram if you have Instagram. I know I don't promote it that much, but it would be really cool if you guys could follow me over on any of those. And you can talk to me, you can message me, talk about your theories, what's going to happen in this episode, what's going to happen later in the season. Or if you want to talk about The Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, Legends, anything else, just please be sure to follow me at the DC TV Show on both Instagram and Twitter. And also, 
just a one last reminder, Supergirl is not on this Sunday, Supergirl will be on the next Sunday, so be on the lookout for that and don't go expecting it this Sunday, and I have to say I'm away currently right now, so I'm pre-recording this, this might go up tonight, but I am off and I'm in Scotland, so I won't be able to make videos, presumably, but I will try maybe to do a live stream or two. So anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.